guys, it is the one and only Tiffany Graham. And I am right now rolling in my car. Um, which I do a lot and try to do videos, which I probably shouldn't do. So if I'm not looking at the cameras, because I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road and stay safe. Um, but anyways, you can still get the same effect of the message if I'm not looking directly into the camera, which I'm not so good at, even when I'm taking still videos anyways. But in either case, I am actually riding through Buckhead, um, which if you're not familiar with the Atlanta area, it's the north side of the city. It's a very um, well-to-do area. Um, I actually used to live up here when I was in college. I had me a little apartment that I used to love. Um, and um, I mean, there's mansions over here, millionaires live over here. I mean, it's a gorgeous area. If I can really um, stop, when I stop, I stop, I can get a good shot, then I'll show you. Um, but I came up here today, um, but one, I had to get some face wash that's only sold um, over here on Linux Mall. It's the closest area to me. Um, and also because I needed to get some inspiration. So one of the biggest things that is important for you to understand know if you are going to try to get out of your own way and succeed is that your comfort zone is your broke zone and I've realized that going through um, my entrepreneurial journey and I work from my home I have a little office in, in my house and oftentimes for any of you, the, of you guys who do work at home you get caught up in this little cycle you know you're used to working at home so if you don't get dressed then who cares you know or you know you're used to being in that thing where sometimes you ain't want to sit and do your work in the living room and turn the tv on because you're at home and so these little things like that they get you caught up and you sometimes lose your momentum and you lose your steam because you're seeing the same things every day and i know for me personally when i do that i'm not getting it inspired for me to do anything I have to work from a place of inspiration and what I love about Buckhead especially when I was living up here was the energy I love being around it's so it's almost like when you drive to Buckhead for me there's I used to actually ride this way to work um, I used to ride the back way and it's so funny because in Atlanta you can go from one area where you're in the hood and then you turn a corner and you're at like or sat around and buy mansions and this one area that I used to ride through to go to work like as soon as you like cross over this bridge it's like the whole world changes you go from seeing like abandoned houses and abandoned buildings and you cross over the bridge and it's everything is green the lawns are kept the flowers the houses are nice and that's when you know the point for me is sitting fight okay I'm crossing over into Buckhead because the whole world it just looked like I just went into a brand new city but that's one of the reasons why I love it up here because it's green, it's vivacious. They have all these cute little shops and nice restaurants. You see people out here running and walking their dogs and it's just where I wanna be. I love the energy up here. And there's this house that I have that I love. Um, and I actually, it's funny to me because when I used to ride to work every day, it used to be like, a catch-22 house for me it was one where I used to pass it every day like I know okay I'm almost at work when I pass the house but it was also a source of inspiration to me because I said if I once I really make it and get to where I'm going that's my house I, I mean when I tell you that I'm in love with this house I would just sit there sometimes and just stop and just sit at the house and just stare at it because it's so me it has that European style which is you know so me I love it love it love it and whenever I get the chance to buy it and it's for sale right now um, I'm going to do it whoever's in it so morning to to whoever is in that house I'm coming for you in a few years to get my house back <laughs> um, but sometimes you have to get out of your own way and go and find a place of inspiration so I, to I told myself today that um, I was gonna get up this morning you know, go run me a couple errands I'm just gonna get out of the house and go um, and see my house um, because I know when I see this house it gives me that rejuvenation and it reminds me of you know one of the reasons why I'm doing what I want to do it's not just about you know the houses the big houses and and all that fancy and, and good stuff which is nice of course and that's part of the um, inspiration for why I'm doing what I'm doing um, but it's just the reminder of the fact that you can have more out of life. There's no limitations. There's no reason why you feel like you have to live in, 
you know, a two bedroom shack or you just have to live in an apartment or, you know, I mean, there's just so much abundance out here. There's so many opportunities for us to get it. So it's just important to keep those good, positive influences of what you want to get in your life in front of you. So I encourage you all today to get out of your comfort zone because the longer you stay in your comfort zone, the longer you're going to stay in your broke zone and make sure that you are keeping those sources of inspiration constantly around you. If you don't have a vision board, create a vision board. Um, I actually have a great app on my phone that I use. It's called Evernote and it's like a virtual vision board. I'm actually going to do a review video on that one day and, and I'll make sure that I share that with all of you guys, but make sure that you are keeping the positive vibes going around you each and every single day. And I'm actually almost to my destination. I'm going to go try out a new office space today at this coffee shop. So I'll let you know how that goes, guys. But come back tomorrow, same time. Um, I always say that same time. I get, I, I'm so used to saying that from watching like talk shows and stuff like that. It's not going to be the same time because I never post anything at the same time. But same YouTube channel. This is Tiffany Graham. And of course, if you have not joined my email list, what are you waiting for? Click on the link below and join my email list where you can get to hear more things from me beyond my YouTube channel. And you get special bonuses for being on my list that I don't share with everybody in the world. So make sure that you um, click on the link below now and connect with me on social media. See you next time, guys. Bye.